uh, what is it that you do to restaurants that makes them so successful, in your opinion? Well, I think several points. Firstly, I think it's exaggerated as to how many restaurants fail. Secondly, I have had restaurants fail. Uh, thirdly, I think it's mainly luck. Um, what was the other point? <laughs> um, well, I think like most things, the more times you try, the more times you fail, but the more times you'll ultimately succeed. Uh, obviously, over the years, I have learned a certain amount. So um, I see concepts and business plans and projects that I, you know, I, w I don't back and I wouldn't believe in because I just don't think they'll last. I think it's a very tough industry to endure in. I think a lot of restaurants can succeed for a relatively short space of time, but they don't, uh, they don't stay the course, if you like. And I do try to look for businesses that have, you know, classic appeal, if you like, that will endure, and that's tough. Um, but business generally, I think, is accelerating, and innovation and adaptation and evolution is more required than ever um, because people compete and copy, uh, and there is more competition generally. Um, uh, I think actually it's quite interesting if you look at margins. Uh, I think one of the issues about food manufacturing is that it does require a substantial amount of capital, uh, but actually because of the structure of um, the industry as a whole, food manufacturers, even big ones, don't necessarily make very high margins. And you can make higher margins in restaurants than you can in food manufacture and employ less capital. And that's one of the reasons why I've done a lot more food, uh, you know, uh, retail, if you like, restaurants and so forth, than I have manufacturing. Because um, to build a big, new, serious food plant costs many millions of pounds. But you might only make operating margins of 4%. In the restaurant business, you can do three or four times that. Mm.